Good evening, I'm Paul Taylor. The Deputy Premier is vowing to restore confidence in the Mary Valley community, still reeling from the dumped Traveston Dam project. Meeting today with the community to canvas solutions. Rarely are these gates ever open to the public. Once a thriving site for school camps, now one of many reminders of how the Traveston Dam debacle crippled this community. The Newman government now trying to find a way out after scrapping the Bly buyback scheme. What we've said quite clearly is that that hasn't worked and it's not going to work. So what we want to do is look at a whole new approach, a whole new approach that is focused on rebuilding the economic base. The Minister for Infrastructure and Planning touring what he calls ground zero in the battle today. Joined by the former police minister, back behind the wheel, chauffeuring Mr Sini to Kandanga. The community is recovering slowly. It's great to see that the butcher's back here and that the butcher is winning awards for his uh, sausages. Minister Sini admits the government doesn't yet have a clear solution and won't for a few months. A lot of this, the money that's invested will not be recoverable. So let's move away, let's all accept that. Accept that that money is not going to be recovered. Jeff Sini is promising that the Mary Valley community will be involved in decisions in restoring it to its former glory. And he believes that will take at least two years. And they're the ones that have been kicked in the guts time and time again, and they now have a future. The Deputy Premier confirmed today the blocks yet to be sold will be put back on the market at some stage. Jessica Millward, Win News.